Hello everybody, my name is Mark. I'm a computer science and psychology double major here at NYU, and I am taking four classes this semester, discrete mathematics, cognitive neuroscience, writing the essay, and what this video is about, computer systems, uh, computer science organization. I have computer science organization from 11 to 12.15 every day, and then I have a recitation on Mondays. Um, and a recitation, if you don't know what that is, is essentially, uh, for computer science, a TA just reviews material covered the previous week. So right now I'm actually studying for my discrete quiz that I have in a short, short while. Uh, but computer systems organization, you know, we have homeworks, they're optional. We're going to be having labs that are not optional. We haven't gotten one yet, and I hope to get one in the coming month. So this video can, uh, you know, have some sustenance to it. But anyway, this is my, uh, one of the videos that I'm making um, over the course of the month. Just to kind of get a feel for what the class is like. Uh, so I'll be recording a bunch of my stuff, getting some B-roll, all that fun stuff. Anyway. Uh, thanks for clicking in. I hope you enjoy. So, here's a full loop. We have two strings. We want to know which out the alphabetical really. When you pick one of the three and then dereference that, you get a character. Yeah. All right, so we've just been talking more about pointers. Um, not much has changed. Uh, this week I'm gonna do some more C practice, get ahead, hopefully, uh, reinforce pointers, because everything now is building off pointers, um, which is the concept and memory allocation. I still know the basics of it, but I wanna know it down packed, like the back of my hand. Um, so I'll work on that this weekend, do the homework. We did not have our first lab, we have not had our first lab yet. And then, yeah, so class on Tuesday, but for now, a nice weekend ahead. All right, so Tuesday, uh, week two, I just finished up CSO. Finally got our first lab, uh, which was great. So I'll be able to start kind of recording my work on that. Didn't do the last homework. I have to do the other homework today. I just checked my wrist, but there's no watch. I printed out a large document about pointers and arrays and array pointers and all that fun stuff. So that'll be my day for a lot of today. Uh, but I do have today planned out. I have a meeting I have to get to, so yeah. Alright, so I just ran up the stairs to the 12th floor. Uh, <laughs> I haven't um, recorded any of these, you know, cycle videos in about a week because now I'm actually showing something. <laughs> just got out of the uh, lecture for CSO and we're moving on from pointers, more or less, to allocation of memory and stuff like that. But without going into that, we've been assigned our first lab, so I'm just gonna quickly look over it. It's game jam week though, so it's due March 5th, um, so I'm not worried about it. You know, just gonna show what the lab looks like anyway. All right, so here are the homeworks. Um, so I did the first three, but regarding C and pointers, uh, the lectures, I was kind of getting it, but at the same time, I I really needed more review and the homeworks weren't gonna help me. Um, I have gone back and done two of them, so number four and five, but at that point it was past the due date, so um, I didn't hand them in, and homework doesn't count for anything. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, but like when we move past C, I'll try to keep more on top of that. Um, I just really wanted to ground myself in pointers. So this other one, lab one, it's due March 5th uh, over here on the corner. Uh, just added as a PDF. Uh, and so I looked through it and it, it's all really straightforward stuff. So each problem is a different um, program essentially. First one works with the command line argument. Easier, <laughs> just so I don't have to keep dragging it in. Um, I just need to know what argument is what. I forget if this is zero, this is zero. I can just look it up, but I was just giving this a go. Good thing it works, but. Second one just builds a string out of the command line arguments. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this increasing so much? Quick number comparison. More argument stuff.
and then print stuff based on the argument. So it's very argument based uh, because that's relatively new in C as far as I know for how the college is teaching it because um, last semester I took data structures, I skipped the first CS class and I imagine they don't go over this stuff too much. Um, but whenever you have, you know, in Java, something like public void main and then string bracket args, that's Java, uh, that's the main environment. You, if you're on the command line, it's often not used because IDEs are so popular for Java versus C especially. And when you, in the compiler, you, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Java C, file name, and then the arguments. And you can actually pull from those arguments in Java. Same thing for C, public void int main, uh, sorry, not public void, it, it's just int main. Um, and it accepts an argument and then a pointer, I believe. I don't know the specific terms. I have not used it that much. But the point I'm getting at here is the logic behind for CSO, for C, is expected to know. Um, so we're learning C syntax. So like this uh, PDF, I'm looking at it and I'm saying it's easy now just because I can think of the logic. If I asked them to do these in Java, I'd be done super quick because I'm so used to it. But you know, for C, there's different syntax, different methods, you don't have strings, all this stuff. So it's all about getting oriented with that. And that's why C is such a good, you know, middle ground before going to something like assembly, uh, which is what we will be doing later in the semester. Uh, it took me a little while, but now I know how my professor kind of teaches. And so I just kind of sit and watch during lectures as opposed to trying to take notes or applying what he's talking about to a program. Um, but I think that's a long enough clip. So I'll record, I guess, me working through the PDF um, just on screen and just like commenting over specific parts. No carry into the sign bit, and you get no carry out of the sign bit. That is not an overflow. What is an overflow is if you get a carry in and no carry out, or if you get a carry out without a carry in. Okay, so it's midterms week, as I just mentioned. Uh, Computer Science uh, System Organization um, is on Thursday, and we have a practice midterm available. Looks a little like this. Um, apparently, it's not going to be this many, this many questions. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it's all C. So we've actually, the past two or so weeks, we've actually been working on um, hexadecimal conversion and machine code and stuff that's finally new to me. Uh, and that sounded pompous. I'm looking forward to it, uh, to say the least. Um, but the midterm is still happening on Thursday. It's just C stuff. I've been reading through this PDF. I am going to put a link to it in the description because I think it's been super helpful. Um, if anyone wants to learn C out there um, and get a good grasp on pointers and how strings are actually arrays of characters. I think I mentioned that before, but this video is not about C. It's about the class. <laughs> uh, and I just want to say, you know, I've heard people say that C is easy and I disagree. When you first learn a programming language, I would definitely say learn something like Java or Python or C Sharp, um, something pretty high level. But C, it's almost a little more difficult uh, entering it from the headspace of Java or Python. I've had a pretty good time adapting to it. It did take a while to get my head around pointers and stuff, and I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp on it, but that's why I'm reading this PDF to get a better grasp on it. The this, this stuff coming up in class right now is going to be a lot tougher. That's what i got to put over here. And that's this. So this is the answer. This is the pointer. This is the... I haven't really been doing the homework, so it's kind of bad. Uh, nor have I really been doing much C exercise, but I've been reading a lot about it. I just need to really start applying it before Thursday. The midterm I'm really worried about is math, though. Uh, on to study for, I guess, math, English assignment, and then I'll read more of the PDF. Or do that in the reverse order, because why not? Move from memory to memory, conspicuous, as I said before, conspicuous by its absence in the move is move from memory to memory. So NYU started something new this year called uh, CAS Declaration Day. Now, NYU is a lot of colleges, so, in the, so, so to speak, Canon Engineering, Tisch School of the Arts. 
I'm in CAS, College of Arts and Sciences, which is the more, which is a very broad one. Um, and they just started something this year called Declaration Day. Uh, and it was kind of cool. Uh, you can declare your major at any point as long as you have the requirements. So I'm a computer science major officially now. I have declared my computer science major. Uh, I'm still figuring out what I want to do with the psych, game design minor, and maybe joint language of mine, but that's not for this video. They just have a declaration day where you can declare what you want. You don't have to do it then. It wasn't very popular, I don't think. But yeah, it's kind of cool to have that pin. So uh, I got to go now study for the midterm. Uh, I'm meeting up with a friend of mine from crew last semester and was also in a data structures class last semester. Um, we're going to work on some C, probably go over the midterm example. Which, I don't know, I feel good on pointers and structures and stuff. So without further ado, let's see if three of three midterm exams can either feel like nailed it or bombed it. <laughs> okay, so it is 7.56, Thursday, March 14th, by day. Woohoo! So yes, midterm ended a long time ago. I just didn't record this until then. Uh, and uh, since the midterm itself was alright, it was, from the get-go, it looked pretty easy. It was, I mean, all the C was fine. I, I realized, I was talking to someone after, and I realized I overlooked some details because I was just overthinking it, which is kind of a bummer, but it, you know, it, I ended with the feeling that like, I didn't, I didn't get a zero on any of the questions, I hope. <laughs> um, I got like the majority of the points because like one of the questions was 50 points and I, from what I talked about, I might get like five, 10 points off, but then again, there might be something I overlooked. Like I know, I know the C it required and I know the logic it required. I just, you know, <laughs> overthought some things, um, but, <laughs> Halfway, not even halfway through, the fire alarm went off, uh, and it was a drill. Um, and we we had to go outside, which kind of sucked. And I I probably I could have gotten a clip of it, but I didn't. Um, I did end up pulling my phone, messaging someone, but didn't want to lose my integrity. Um, we were out there for probably like ten or so minutes. The professor was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we went back in. We finished it anyway. Yeah, that, <laughs> it was kind of anticlimactic, I guess. Um, I, I'm just, I feel like I was on like a high of the midterms um, and all, you know, now I'm just looking forward to getting the grades back and um, seeing if, you know, discrete and neuro went fine and how CS went. But all in all, I hope that's been kind of a good look into what a CS class has been like. I probably should have done more of the homeworks just so I could have like shown them here. Um, but it's been a lot of, you know, self-studying as well using uh, various PDFs uh, from different resources. All right, so um, it's 4.53 p.m. on April 4th, which is way later than any of these videos I have touched upon. And today was the um, redo of the midterm. And I do think the uh, the first one was a little easier, but this one was pretty much the same gist. Uh, and just kind of go kind of go over that in more detail. The first two questions were just, what is the output? Uh, and it tested to know, do we know copy in, copy out functionality? Can we properly follow loops and pointers? Then it moved on to, um, I guess, depending on the version of your essay, but uh, your, depending on the version of your test, the second one was then write your own program. And there were two sections. I'm totally blanking on what the first one was, uh, but the second one was like using the put car and get car methods, um, you know, take input. And if it's not a letter, uppercase or lowercase, then um, exit the program. But if it's lowercase, then uh, print it. If it's uppercase, print it. And then the last one was what's wrong with this program um, and it had a pre-increment on something where it should have been a post-increment uh, and so then you rewrite the program with the correct thing but then you need parentheses because of how the order of operations goes from right to left for pointer math. All of that made, made no sense, maybe I'll put excerpts from this video, but I just want to add that in there because um, um, the vibe was definitely different for this one, I was much more down to earth. Finished it, I think I handed it in around 12, class ends around 12.15, and the exam ended around 12.15. 
But um, yeah, now I have to go do the second lab, which is much more in depth than the first one. Well, in depth. Um, it's based on the data structure. And I've also been working on getting into app development a little bit and making Tetris and C. Uh, but otherwise, that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. And in terms of computer science, next semester, I am taking, if all goes to plan, two CS courses uh, out of four. I'm taking basic algorithms and operating system. The last, those are the last like fundamental uh, CS classes I have to take for the major. Uh, I'm set with my double major and everything. So yeah, well, and without further rambling, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. Dude.